Wow. Am I alive? Rihanna played the credits over my preaching again. What the heck? <laughs> We're not over. Restart the timer. OK. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, OK. <laughs> Thanks, Rihanna. OK, we're good. Um, hey, so we're talking about being born again, as you know from the last two wonderful messages. Um, as a very quick recap, we've heard that being born again, that doesn't mean you know going to church, reading your Bible, although that's good. And if you do that, that's great. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're born again. What it does mean is asking Jesus into your hearts, into your life, and being with him. So we know what it is. But why is that important? Why do we actually need that? Why is that something you'd want to do in your life. I got two reasons for you guys. First, it's good for you now, in the present. Um, you know, when you ask to be born again, it's not like some waiting process. You know, you're not like giving an application to Jesus and he's like, okay, just, uh, just fill out this application form and you know, you'll be born again in like six to 10 business days. Like, no, Jesus is with you now. And that's awesome because having Jesus in your heart and having Jesus on your side as, as the Bible says, if God is for you, who can be against you, right? Man, you have, you have power over anxieties and stress and doubts and, and lies in your life, right? You know, when you have Jesus on your side, he's helping you out with that, right? You can, you know, pray, and he answers your prayers, and he listens to you, right? It's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Having God in your life right now is awesome. Um, but not only that, it's good for you forever. And when I say forever, I don't mean the way that humans say forever. Like, I'll, you know, be in line at, like, McDonald's, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, this line is taken forever. But it's been, like, a minute and a half, right? I'm not saying forever like that. Um, I'm saying forever as in, like, the rest of your life and after that, right? Now, now is, like, your whole life. But once you die, it's not just, like, purgatory, blackness. You go to heaven or you go to hell. But if, you, if you're born again, you go to heaven, and heaven is awesome. Like, can you imagine just spending all your time with Jesus and God and being able to worship him? And in heaven, there's like literally no such thing as like any negativity or stress or anxieties or anything. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and you know what? If you don't believe me, John 3. John 3 is what like the whole story of Nicodemus is out of. And guys, the most, debatably, the most famous Bible verse of all time is in John 3. John 3, 16. You, you know it by heart. You've learned it in Bible school or Sunday school. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Eternal life. Those who believe in Jesus, you know, being born again, asking him into your life, will have eternal life. They will not perish. And if you read the next couple verses, after that, it does say that, you know, you will perish if you don't have Jesus in your life, right? It's, that kind of sucks, right? If you're not going to heaven, you're going to hell, which is a really bad place. Like, imagine eternity. Imagine never-ending torture and pain and awfulness and just the worst place ever. Imagine that forever. That's what happens when you don't ask Jesus into your life. And I'm not trying to, like, scare you guys straight, right? Like, you know that TV show? I think it's called Scared Straight, where they, like, take a bunch of, like, juvenile teenagers, and they bring them to prison, and they're, like, make them eat prison mush, and then they get this, like, really buff dude to, like, scream at them, like, this is what's gonna happen to you if you don't stop beating up your mom. Like, that's, I'm not trying to scare you guys straight. I'm literally just telling you what's in the Bible, right? I'm literally just telling you the truth. Like, that's, it is what it is, right? That's how it is. That's why it's so important to be born again and to ask Jesus into your life, right? That's why it's so important. It is literally the most important decision you're ever going to make in your life. There is nothing more. You know, what school you go to, what university you go to, like what you do as a career, that has nothing against the decision to accept Jesus into your heart, right? So if you guys, you know, maybe you come to church with your parents, Maybe, you know, you come out to merge when we were allowed to do that. Um, and, like, you do that, and you know, like, about Jesus, and you know, like, who he is. That's great. But if you haven't accepted Jesus into your heart, you got to do that. Because it's pretty important, as I just said. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, if any one of you 
doesn't have Jesus in your heart and you don't know how, reach out to your mob leader. Reach out to one of us, and uh, we're very happy to uh, pray with you and, and help you accept Jesus into your heart. That was perfect timing. Last time I was over with, like, 40 seconds left. Boom. <laughs>